Good morning, second grade. Today we're going to be focusing on asking and answering questions in a text. So as you can see, we have our reading thinking steps here. And step number one says, what do you wonder about this text? So before we even open it up and start reading, we're going to look closely at the cover, look at the title, look at the pictures, and we're going to think to ourselves, hmm, I wonder. And there's lots of things that you may wonder about a text. Step number two says, we're going to ask a question about it. So our questions might start with who or what. We're going to ask questions about when or where or why or how. Okay, these are all question words. And then step number three, we're going to remember these questions as we are reading. So looks like we're all set. Today's text that we're going to be reading is called I took my frog to the library. Now, hmm, I'm looking at the picture and I'm thinking about that title. And I wonder, because remember that's step number one, what do you wonder about this text? I wonder why she's taking her frog to the library. Seems a little silly to me, but maybe she has a reason for wanting to take her frog to the library. I wonder if maybe her she likes to read to her frog. Or maybe she doesn't have a lot of friends, and if she takes her frog to the library, she'll feel a little bit better. I'm not quite sure. So let's read so we can ask and also answer some questions. So this book is called I Took My Frog to the Library by Eric A. Kimmel, pictures by Blanche Sims. I took my frog to the library. But he jumped on the checkout desk and scared the librarian. Yikes. I took my hen to the library, but she laid an egg in the card catalog. Oh boy. I took my pelican to the library, but he hid the dictionary in his pouch and no one could find it. And you can see in there, he's hiding it right in his pouch. Looks like she's not having a, a good day taking her pets to the library. I took my python to the library, but she shed her skin all over the picture books. Ugh, that's disgusting. I took my giraffe to the library, but he tried to read over everybody's shoulder. Well, makes sense to me. I mean, he does have a pretty long neck. I took my hyena to the library, but he laughed so loud during story time that nobody could hear the story. I took my elephant to the library. My elephant is very well behaved. She stacked her books neatly at the checkout desk. She asked the librarian's help when she needed it, she listened to the story and laughed in all the right places. Hmm, looks like the elephant is having a good time. Maybe this idea wasn't so bad. But my elephant is very big. So big. So big. So big. Oh no, she wrecked the library. The librarian said, Bridget, you are always welcome in the library, but the next time you come to the library, please leave your animals at home. Hmm, I wonder why she told her to leave her animals at home. So whenever I go to the library, my frog stays home. My hen stays home. My pelican stays home. My python stays home. My giraffe stays home. My hyena stays home. Hmm. I wonder what the elephant does. And my elephant reads to them. Wow. The end. So I liked that book a lot. 
she definitely has a lot of animals. So I'm wondering, hmm, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Was that a good idea for her to bring those animals to the library? Yeah, I agree. Wasn't really a good idea at all. So let's go back to our chart. Remember, we want to be able to ask and answer questions. So the first question I'm going to ask is, who or what is the main character in the story? Are you ready? That's right. The main character in the story is Bridget. Now, we didn't figure out her name until the end of the story, but that's okay. Sometimes we don't learn the character's actual, na actual names until the middle or the end of a book. It's not always in the very beginning. But we know that the librarian called her by her first name, which was Bridget. Awesome. My next question is, where or when does the story take place? Awesome. The story takes place at the library. Good. So Bridget is our main character. Where or when the story takes place is at the library and that is called what? Who remembers? What do we call the story element that tells us where or when a story takes place? Nice. It's called the setting. All right. Are you ready for your last question? Your last question is why did the librarian ask Bridget to leave her animals home next time she comes to the library? I'll give you about five seconds. Why did the librarian ask her to leave her animals at home? Oh my gosh, you're right. Because they caused so much of a mess. Good job. So let's see. How did I do? Thumbs up if you think I did a pretty good job answering my questions. Thanks. I thought so too. I'm going to kiss my brain. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure you keep reading and we'll see you again soon.